I am Dr. Sri Ram Ramalingam, eye surgeon. I have more than 30 years of experience. I am the medical director of Pradhyan Nitralaya, located at Artinagar, Bangalore. Workplace eye injuries are very common, especially in a high danger environments. The most important way that one can avoid these eye injuries are what is called as an induction training. The person who joins as a new employee should be introduced about the hazards that are involved in this job. He should be sensitized that what can happen if this is not taken care of. He may lose the eye. He may have a severe impairment of the vision. The first and foremost is what is called as induction training. Coming to the safety measures that can be taken in a high dangerous environment or high risk environment is wearing safety goggles, wearing eye shields wherever possible. And if a person is a welder, they use the dark shaded glasses to prevent exposure to the light. Suppose one has got an eye injury, what are the measures that needs to be taken? First and foremost, do not rub your eyes. If you are exposed to the chemicals, try and wash the eye as much as possible so that all the chemicals come out of the eye. If it is a small foreign particle that has occurred, try and wash it. If not possible, Patch the eye and go to the nearest emergency center. A person working in that environment should be aware that what chemicals it is. Is it an acid based or is it an alkali based that is a person is dealing with. So most important is prevention. So take all precautions. Wear safety goggles. Wear respirators wherever there is an exposure to chemicals. Wear face shields. So prevention can be better. And do not try and treat, self-treat, because many a times, if there is a serious injury to the eye, trying to wash the eye may harm the eye more than causing any benefit. So it's important that an immediate first aid should be ready in the high-risk environment. A person should be trained to know how to diagnose or how to treat this condition. If the person is not trained, then he should be referred to the nearest center where they have got facility to treat them. So here, prevention is better than cure.